who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. I speak unto thee this day, and I say, because the ones who claim that they are my people have departed from repentance, what have they brought forth? I say that they brought forth pride, they brought forth abomination, they brought forth stubbornness and whirliness, and all manner of ungodliness, and they're assuming that they knew better than they know. That is, because they have abandoned repentance, they have brought forth the evils, they have brought forth the works of the flesh. And I say, all the while they think they have achieved some great state of elevation in me, but it is not true. For I say, they remain as babies, they remain as those who are infants, they remain uns unsure of me. And I say, all the while they claim they are great men and women of faith, while they are begging on every hand. And I say, all the while they think they have promoted some great thing, I say they have promoted the God of self. And I say they are fools led astray, led away, because they have refused repentance. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called thee to live, to die, to perish as fools because of refusal to repent. But I say that I've called thee to enter into and remain in repentance, revolution, ever thankful for my way. That is, I have called the ones who are mine to walk uprightly, to pursue the course of righteousness, and be strengthened in the same. That is, coming forth ever may glad that it is me that they serve. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be a servant unto sin, but I say that I call thee to be serving me. That is, I call thee to know, understand, and realize that it is me, the living God, who does give to thee the way that is truth and light, the way that is mercy and hope, as you are remaining repentant before me. For I say you are not meant to be as the foolish who call themselves my people in this wicked generation, yet I say they serve a multitude of sins. And I say they are serving the darkness, the iniquity that is found in the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who has called thee to walk uprightly. It is me, the living God, who has called thee to be ever mindful of my way. That is, that you could be coming forth, me glad for the privilege to walk in me, to be directed, corrected, and instructed by me. For I say, when you really will enter into and remain in repentance, revolution before me, then I say that you are ever thankful for my way. That is, that it is the way of life, the way of truth, and the way of mercy provided for my own. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of truth and the way of life, the way of mercy intended. And I say, when you are coming forth in the way that I give thee, then you are ever guided by me. But I say, when you trouble yourself by walking far off from me, what do you do? I say, you prove to the weariness, the dreariness of your own way, that you are not serving me. Now I say, this day, if the ones who claim that they are my people would enter into and remain in repentance, revolution, then I say that the world would be revolutionized for me. For I say that men and women would be willing to declare the truth of repentance, that others would walk in the same. And I say, if men and women would come forth in repentance, revolution, ever thankful unto me, ever guided in the way that I provide, then they could indeed be found ever faithful unto me. But I say, because men are fed on rot, they are fed on worldliness, they are fed on pride, I say they have no faith, no true confidence in me. But I say they set out to establish their own way, they set out to declare their own God, and I say they are fools in the same. For I say while they put on shows to be seen and heard of men, I say that their hearts are far from me. And I say that the coldness of their hearts, the dullness of their understanding, is because they have refused to repent. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do desire that you would truly learn the power of repentance as you make daily practice of the same. That is, as you are indeed in repentance, revolution, day after day, that you will be able to behold what it is that I bring forth. For I say, when a man is short-sighted and full of pride, he will moan over the principle of repentance as though it were an evil thing. 
that is, he will not enter into repentance and trust and faith and confidence in me, but rather he will dictate according to his own understanding. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to be dictating according to your understanding, but I say that I call thee to be walking in the truth of life, the strength that I give unto my own. For I say it is me, the living God, you are meant to be serving, pleasing, and obeying day by day. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad, be thankful, that it is me that you can be looking unto, that it is me that you can be believing and trusting in. That is, be thankful that I, the living God, am the way of life provided for all who will be subject to me. For I say, when it is me, the living God, that you look to in faith and trust and confidence, of course you are guided in life. And I say you are guided in repentance prayers as you will be willing to obey the same in me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called my people to live in the exaltation of self as they are in in this wicked generation. That is, whereby they are ever choosing what is best for self and loving it so. But I say that I, the living God, intended that my own people would be choosing that which they are meant to do according to what is pleasing to me. And I say it is pleasing to me when men will live in repentance day by day before me. Now I say that the truly repentant man will be humble before me. He will not be full of pride in rejecting my way. That is, he will not be looking to establish his own way, which is nothing but the way of a fool. But I say that he will be accepting of the way that I give him and walk in the same with gladness and thanksgiving that he's been given the privilege to serve me. But I say that the man who is full of pride and self-conceit will scoff and mock the humble way that I provide. Now I say when you look at these fools who have spread themselves out in proud array, who have established their great and glorious kingdoms, or so they imagine, what have they brought forth? I say they brought forth wickedness, they brought forth iniquity and foolery, and yes, they are loving it so. And I say all the while, while they strut and boast themselves in the exaltation of their own way, they only prove how dull and dumb they are before me. For I say they take the opportunity they've been given upon this earth to live for me, and I say they waste it upon the God of self. Then I say when it is finished, it is all over, and they stand before me. I say they will howl, they will moan, they will scream, there will be gnashing of teeth. And I say it is because they rejected the true way, the way of repentance, the way of humility that I provide. Now I say if you really consider how stupid it is for men to go whoring after the love of self, to go whoring after the world, and say they are serving me, I say they cause themselves to be doubly damned. For I say they are using my name in vain to cover their schemes, their plots of wickedness that are deadly against me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not end up dead by the plots and schemes of wicked men, but I say they are the ones who die from the same. That is, because they have chosen the way of rebellion, the way of foolery and vanity, the way of stupidity and darkness. And I say, because they've chosen to oppose me and what it is that they choose to worship, what it is that they choose to exalt and obey, I say they are the ones who pay for the same. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and the men are choosing in opposition to me. No, they are choosing lies. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to live in lies and hypocrisy, in pretension and darkness, but I say that I call thee to live in the truth. That is, ever coming forth in the truth, the light, the strength that I give day by day. For I say, when it is me that you will be believing and trusting in, you are brought forth by me. But I say, when you are choosing the way of fools, you are the one who pays for the same. I say this day that I, the living God, never called thee to go in the way of fools, to go in the way of the ones who are wise in their own conceit. But I say that I call thee to be uplifted, directed, corrected, and guided forth in the blessedness, the truth, the light that is bound for the ones who are continuing to repent before me. For I say it is not a difficult thing to follow me if you stay in humility and subjectivity in repentance before me. But I say that the hard part about following me comes when you want to keep self alive. 
That is, when you want to have the best of two worlds and live for you, then claim you are living for me. Now I say this day, do not weary me with your own self-life, with your own self-love and lust, but I say, be abandoned unto me. For I say, when you are truly abandoned unto me, then I say, you will love repentance revolution. But I say, when you are wanting your own way, you are wanting recognition for who and what you think you are, I say, you will despise repentance because it will reveal your pride. Now I say, is it more valuable to any man to hold to pride, which is abomination, than to hold to me? For I say, when you see the men who are proud and foolish, no, they shall end in the distress of their own making. But I say, when you see the ones who are lifted up in the power of my presence, because they are in repentance, revolution, no, they are considered wise by me. That is, in the sense that they have enough wisdom to choose the life rather than the death. And I say, because they are choosing to serve me, they are not losing out with me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to walk in the weariness, the dreariness, the vileness, the wickedness of the love of self, but I call thee to abandon and forsake the same. And I say that I call thee to learn to love repentance, for I say it is meant to be the life of the true ones who are ever active in me. That is, even if they themselves are not full of sins that need repentance, I say they are meant to intercede for the lost, the dying, the perishing that are on every hand. And I say they are meant to be willing to proclaim the way of truth and life that is found in me, that they can indeed come forth rejoicing. Now I say this day be thankful for the truth and the light, the mercy and the hope and the peace that I bring forth day by day. And I say be thankful that you have been given the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me that you can indeed be coming forth, directed, guided, and instructed in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I give every single day. For I say my people are not meant to dwell in darkness, but I say they are meant to be in the light. I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, have given thee the very privilege to be repentant, the very privilege to intercede for those who are perishing, the very privilege to abide in me. For I say that if a man will claim that he loves me, that he serves me, yet I say he has no compassion at all for others, why is it so? I say it is because he has refused repentance, revolution, and he has no desire to change. That is, he is wanting his own stubborn and proud ways rather than the mind of my spirit wherein there is life contained. Now I say this day when men depart from me, they stray away, what is it that they pursue? I say they pursue the course of their own selfish ways, they pursue the course literally of their own damnation. Now I say it is only fools who will be found in damnation because they have strayed from me. But I say that the ones who are full of righteousness, strength, mercy, and hope, and the truth of who I am will find themselves ever guided forth by me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call thee to the darkness, the iniquity, the foolery, the vanity that is on every hand. But I say that I call thee to the blessedness, the righteousness, the truth that is given unto those who are in repentance revolution. For I say it is true, far more true than you will ever imagine in your lives, how much repentance is so important unto me. For I say that men have sought to trample repentance, they have sought to eradicate and devastate repentance, and all the time they have damned themselves. For I say in choosing to oppose repentance unto me, they are choosing to literally oppose me. And I say all the while, while they are so smug, thinking they've achieved something, I say they are grossly deceived. And I say it is because they have chosen an opposition to me. Now I say this day do not choose to lose by opposing me, but I say choose to come forth in the way of victory that I give to the ones who will indeed be truly repentant, repentant, repentant unto me. And I say be thankful to be partakers of repentance, revolution, rather than the filthiness, abomination of the world. I say give hey, thanks to worse offenders than all the others who live in Jerusalem? No, I tell you. But unless, unless you, you repent, repent, you will all likewise perish.